Mario! Uh, hello? Whoa! Another fighter storm and didn't scream in his fool head off about something. Gonzalez has a lot of foes, folks. Some we'd even know his... Some don't even know his name. <laughs> Word on the street is was that some mustache doofus was in Glitzville. And looky here. Talk about perfect timing! And while these folks get to watch me murderize you! Murderize? That's a good word. I like that word. Calm down, Bowser. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy you! And I have witnesses! Well, this could have been better. Yeah, this was not the right battle for this to happen. <laughs> That's fine. That's Bowser! What's he doing here? My, my mind just blew a fuse. Max HP is 30, attack is 3, and defense is 1. He's uglier than I expected. <laughs> hey, come on. He looks fine. He's a little chubby in the Paper Mario series. Yeah, he's like a big nose. Uh. He's got a poisonous bite, so watch out. It'll make your HP dec decrease gradually. Also, if he ground pounds you, you won't be able to use one of your commands. If you don't guard. Just focus your attention on beating him down, Mario. Goopella, I'm dying. But actually, I can totally use the, <laughs> use the point swap for its maybe intended use. <laughs> but we need the FP, dude. Um, what? We need the FP. Do I, though? Look, I'm using a point swap for, like, a weird purpose. Amazing. And Bowser will always use, use his fire breath on the first turn, by the way. Uh, you know what? I'll switch to... Flurry, actually. Bowser's not spiky in this game, by the way. I'm pretty sure Bowser is spiky... No, he's spiky in Super 2. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say only in... Uh, only in Sticker Star, but no. In Super, he's spiky too. Yeah, I think, like, Bowser appearing here... Oops. I guess. <laughs> is is a little weird? I don't know how to feel about I mean, it. It is a it bit feels random. really random. From the suddenly show up. Yeah. I guess they wanted to stick him somewhere in the game and were like, well, I guess Glitzful makes the most sense. Yeah, and I mean, I guess it, it is a funny idea to have, like, you know, a wrestling, you know, a wrestling match, but then suddenly someone comes in and is like, I want to fight. You know, it's like a big thing. And maybe they were like, oh my god, what if Bowser does that? Wouldn't that be funny? Yeah, but the whole thing about Bowser is that he's always two steps behind you yeah. in the game. Oh, well, I'd expect nothing less from you, Mario. Figures you'd get some licks in. I'll actually let him do that. And boom, <gasps> you can't use moves. Like, command loss is one, of, is one of those statuses that... I feel like are kind of underutilized. Uh, I don't know. You barely see it. Yeah, of course. It's like very limited. I'm pretty sure in this game, only Bowser can do that. Mm -hmm. And that's a carryover from 64. Maybe that's the only reason they did it. Yeah, it's a nice detail. Yeah. I know. Also, I like how he, how he like, removes the, the selection orb. From yeah. like your your first move, yeah, like the 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 orb like bounces away, and I'm like, what is that? That's not an icon in the menu. It is. I'll show you actually. It's that orb. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> but only that one. So technically, you should be able to use your other moves. Hmm, that is weird. I know it should have been just should have been the shine sprite. Yeah. Also, by the way, you can run away from this battle and Bowser wins. Oh, that's our Gonzalez. You don't even bat an eye when some nut ambushes him. Tough. You're too tough, son. And you're only gonna get tougher. Stay tuned, folks. Until next time, everyone. See ya. And then some stage hand cleans Bowser off the stage. Oh, that must be a bad day on the job if you have to carry that guy away. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, but that's that's not a part that, that's weird about because, like, since it's the glitz pit, you can lose battles. 
Um, w was that King Bowser? What was he doing here? That kind of freaks me out. Only kind of, though. Also nice. Um, like, you, you can like you can lose, and then you don't game over, since it's a glitz pit, like any other battle. And then Bowser's just like, Ha, ah, yeah! And then it's implied he just leaves? Yeah, it's a bit weird. He just wanted to come to beat you up? <laughs> just for funsies. I guess. Just to, to feel better about himself. Eh, fair. Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fixing for a fight, huh? Your next opponent will be... Rank four on the glitz pit, Claw Daddy. Three times. I think I think that'll be fine. Oh, actually, well, no, I can't show it off. Dang it. I wanted to show something, but now I can't. Oh, wait, are these guys going to mention Bowser in any way? Oh, yeah, right. Whoops. I, I should have uh, talked to them. When I watch you fight, it makes me want to win more than anything. My hammer's been uh, been has really been on fire lately. Seriously, man, I just can't lose. There's really no way a mustache is better than a spike. I mean, that's just crazy talk. <laughs> Gonzalez, I see you have the gleam of a true warrior in your eyes now. Never lose it. Wow. How do most of these guys not know I'm Mario? The Dark Gatekeeper. Get a fight to the finish with Craw Daddy. I'll try not to get in your way, Mario. Foolish mortals. I will drag you through the gate to the netherworld. I like how intense this guy is. Yeah. I mean, it is It is all just uh, an act. I'm pretty sure Gumbella tells you. Actually, no, she wouldn't. Well, I mean, yeah, it's wrestling. It's just kayfabe. Yeah. Dark Craw. Daddy. That's a Dark Craw. Yikes, what a ghastly looking spear thrower. Oh, wow, that's some serious attack power. Well, he's just, it just double, like only his attack power is different from Gus. Like he has double attack power, but otherwise it's just Gus. You don't want to jump on it if it's spears pointing up, because that would hurt. That's still dumb. Just don't aim for the spear. For a run-of-the-mill spear tosser, he sure looks like he's got a point to make. <laughs> okay, never mind. I thought she was going to say, like, oh, look at his eyes. They're so red. He needs some sleep. And I'm pretty sure he's 100% asleep. Oh, really? Um, but another thing I can tell you is that claw cap, first of all, you can just, instead of only tapping the button you have to tap, you can just tap all buttons. And then it immediately fills, and then just start slowly tapping the button on the enemy. And boom! He got immobilized. Um, even though Crawdaddy has, or like Dark Crawls, only have 80% susceptibility to stop, that is actually a guaranteed stop. And that is because, for honestly, no real reason... Clockout has a 1.25% multiplier, or like 1.25 multiplier to its status uh, susceptibility. So, since Crawdaddy is 80%, you add 20%, 100%. That's so weird. So he will always get stopped. Yeah, it is weird. I don't get it. We just like you would think? I don't know. I don't know, it's just weird. It's like... I mean, you have susceptibility, so like just use that wide like oh no it's actually 1.25 times yes so most enemies uh most regular enemies unless they're really resistant to stop you will never fail which is just kind of funny how many times have i appealed 20 million times well you should be good uh, i think so too I guess I should show his attacks, although they're just the same as Gus. But does he have the same laugh? Uh, I think so, actually. He should have had a different laugh. Yay! <laughs> should have been like... Wur, 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 wur. Well, maybe... In the, well, that's just a big Dark Crawl laugh. Shoutouts to my uh, a little out class playthrough. Watch it. <laughs> I'll let him attack once. Yeah, maybe in the remake he'll have, like, a creepier laugh. 
Hmm. Oh no, whoops. Somebody in the audience didn't like me super guarding that. <laughs> uh, show off. I know. I'm sorry. But like, don't you go to wrestling to watch people show off? <laughs> That's the whole point. Yes. Mario! Yeah, we're making a lot of money now. Hell yeah. You know, you get a Pretty lot good. of money in this chapter. Yeah, you do. Uh, Mario, your pocket's beeping. Mail time. It's not my mailbox. <laughs> That's a lot clearer than before. Oh, it's from Mexican, huh? Telephone booth, pav pavilion? Does he mean outside? Yes. You remember seeing the phone booth? Oh, well, we better go look around. I actually did. There was a star piece behind it. Hey guys, what, what do you yeah, think about pavilion? Yeah, we got a phone call you That's true. The group. You're pretty strong, but your partners are strong too, baby. <laughs> Maybe I should get a new I should get new partners, huh? By the way, my mother gave me this helmet, but told me not to tell my father. Yeah, I left the whole, my whole family behind to come make a name for myself. They cheer me. I have to make it to the top for the man. Spikes and mustaches are both bristly, I guess. But that's the only similarity. I like to think that throughout all of the battles that we've been having, he's just continuously he just keeps thinking about this one thing about like mustaches versus spike be like okay but what is the similarities like why huh <laughs> like mm -hmm. for hours he's just thinking about it you gonzalez you are now a rival worthy of my skills oh you oh, thank you so much for two ah gonzalez Good timing, you pudgy little punk! Uncle Rockhouse got some advice for you. If you keep stealing the spotlight from me, you're gonna enter a world of hurt! Quit making such a splash! If you value your puny life! <laughs> hey, who does that guy think he is threatening us? That was really pathetic. He like said his line and then you <laughs> quickly got out of there. But wait, threatening us? Maybe that hate mail came from Rockhawk. Oh no, is Rockhawk a hater? Well, one way or the other, we need to be really careful from now on. Also, if you skip through that text really fast and you run up here, you can see Rockhawk disappear. <gasps> into nothing. Maybe he can teleport. <gasps> is he the ghost? He might be. I mean, there is a ghost in the champs room. True. So he might actually be the ghost. Uh... But Rockhawk doesn't seem like like the emailing type. He probably doesn't even know what that is. Plus, there were no spelling mistakes and everything, so... Oh! Oh. You want to meet Beef? Hold up. Here's Beef. Good pun, Beef. The title match is coming up. I'm pulling for you all the way, Beef. Yeah, give him heck. Let's cute. hear that, Beef. Oh, welcome to Lilbu. Oh, thank you. Everybody's rooting for me. That's so nice. How's your love story? Welcome to the Glitz Pit! There's a guy who sent me a spade, blah blah blah! You know what I just realized? I must be in love with him or something. Uh, I sigh just thinking about him. Hey, hello. Have you seen the size of my penis ever since I'm getting closer to the champion battle? Yo, yo! Greg Gonzalez! Two questions! How's your mind state? And if you were a jungle animal, what noise would you make? I would go... <laughs> Freelance cameraman here. You know, Rockhawk spends like days in the bathroom. Is Rockhawk the man eating toilet? <gasps> hmm. Oops, it's all Rockhawk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he does in there, but I do know this. I need a scoop like that. A scoop of his poop? The poop scoop? I know the best way to get popular with this crowd. Wanna hear it? Uh, no thanks. No thanks. Sorry I didn't hear that. This place is loud, you know. Anyway, to get popular, keep winning. Come on, am I not the smartest guy of all time? Pearls of wisdom here. 
Oh, also something really odd. These characters you can't tell. Huh. This is the and pit it's itself. even weirder because the little the little tech bubble is still above their yeah. head. Yeah, that's the ring in the middle. That's where all the magic happens. And by magic, I mean brutal beatdowns. But yeah, why would Rockhog be in the bathroom all the time? Is he poop? Maybe he's just incredibly constipated. Combat sports do so repel me, but my dear Bub will be a corporate VP one day. I hear those boardrooms can get quite heated. Perhaps he should know self-defense. I wonder if there's any reputable self-defense tutors around here. What did you say, lady? Oh, it's you, Gonzalez. I should say you have Rockhawk's attention now, hmm? Yes, I have a feeling you might just become the champion one day, not long from now. Hey, I saw you in a fight. Yeah, you're real strong. My daddy was real happy. People who my daddy likes become really great, mostly. You're gonna be great too. Thank you. Hey, my number one fan. You can probably taste that championship belt, huh? I'm pulling for you. And by that I mean I'm pulling my penis daily. For you, Mr. Gonzalez. That's nice. At least somebody is. Then we've got two ice storms. Gotta use them at some point. Yeah, where do we get that second one? I forgot. Oh, right. From the... From the... That was not a joke. That was actually... I forgot. Oh, look. It's a key. I don't care. Probably not. Hey, tell me your joke. Nah. I know I have goggles on, but my eyesight is 2020. They're what you call fashion. Uh huh. Well, I mean, that's not a. Is that a joke? No, it's not a joke. That's a statement. Yeah. Sir. <laughs> so, I heard you rank pretty high in the major league these days, guy. Yeah, I definitely have to look into this, this pro fighting racket. Must be simple. Excuse me, have you seen these guns? And by guns, I mean this hammer. I didn't pay for it, I just got it from somebody. Oh, look, the cutie's back. Gonzalez, it seems that no fighter can stop your momentum. Your run reminds me of the glory days of Prince Mush, the first Glitz Pit champion. Stop talking about Prince Mush, nobody cares. He's long gone, he's probably dead somewhere in a ditch. Hey, what you Maybe Rock Rock threw him off. Knox him today, UK. Prince Mush always did. Stop talking about Prince Mush! What do we just say? Because <laughs> I gotta tell you, man, even if you just a champion, you will not be like Prince Mush. Oh, okay. I'm still betting a farm on Rockhawk, because that guy is unstoppable. Not the farm. You own a farm? That's actually kind of wild. And still no Greg Gonzalez advertising outside. Do -do -do -do. Yay! Boy, there's a key behind this sign. That's actually a pretty good thumbnail. <laughs> hey, Coops! <laughs> oh, hey, Mario. What's up? This might be... Yeah, this might be a thumbnail, yeah, I know actually. Yeah, it is. Ah! <laughs> Grubbers? Now I have to go to some storage room? Man, this seems like a lot of legwork. Is this guy just playing with us? Maybe this is Grubba, just so we don't shoot up the ranks too fast. Yeah, because I actually haven't shown it. I'll do it real quick. You can't actually continue fighting until you do X's side quests. And actually, yeah, there's text. I should have tried this. Hmm. Our match reservation privileges have been suspended. Um, what's all this about? Is this also the work of X? And this honestly makes me pretty excited to have like you hear something, play the game, so I can actually hear somebody guess, like, what's going on in the Glitz Pit. Mm -hmm. Because this is really interesting. Yeah, I remember getting it totally wrong. And there are a couple of ways it could go. <gasps> oh! <laughs> we meet again, you usky mustache hunk, you. Are you... The stairs? <gasps> you again, Miss Flirt a lot. Are you following us or what? You know, security heard you bungling around in here. It was you, right? Oh, please. 
No one heard me. I'm the best mouse burglar of all time. I'm silent. It's quite obvious that someone else must have been monkeying about in here. And I'm no monkey. I'm a mouse. <laughs> Please. I'm like so sure. Yeah, you green shoe wearing donkey. Hush. I told you I'm a mouse. All you need to know <laughs> is I've taken what I needed and now I'll be on my way. As for the rest, help yourself to whatever you like. Okay, I'll take all these boxes. <laughs> and now we must part again, my sweet mustache man. Mm. Oh, lovely. Oh, are you like the biggest floozy ever or what? You kissed the stugum, by the way, you met us. I almost, forgot, I almost forgot my sweet. This arena holds many secrets, you know. Oh yeah, have you heard about the Madigan toilet? I like that one. You should be very careful. Did you end up like those poor souls in the toilet? I knew she was the stairs. Nobody's ever been upstairs. I just said goodbye. My delectable hunk of cheese. We shall meet again. Wait, no, stop. I need you. I need you to go upstairs. What? Oh, what's with that burglar rat? Mouse. I swear, I'm going to head bonk her if she doesn't watch it. Oh, whatever. What do you think she meant about some poor souls upstairs? I have no idea. Nobody's ever been upstairs. Is this a mail about going upstairs? That the staircase switch to reach the upstairs. Oh, okay. The staircase switch? What, is there supposed to be a staircase in here? But nobody's ever been upstairs. I mean, we can't just make a scientific breakthrough like that. Mm -hmm. It's one of life's greatest mysteries. It's how to get upstairs. Do you see that? Huh, I do see that. That's weird. <laughs> well, no, hit it harder. Oh, okay. Oh, dang it. Hmm. Wait, maybe Gumbella can tell us. This is a Glitzbit storeroom. They must keep props or something in here. There's a second floor, too. If you see anything odd, don't forget your partners. I know there's a second floor, Gumbella, but nobody's ever been there. Blow these. <gasps> no. no, they're stuck to the wall super tightly. Ah! I like that one. It's a good one. Also, honestly, I don't really remember, but if I don't break all these blocks, will they just arbitrarily disappear later? I think I think that might be the case. Let's find out. Go through okay. the middle. Oh, never mind. Oh. <laughs> Oops. And I found that switch so easily, I must have played this game before or something. Yeah, wow. Also, like, this is wild and nobody's ever been here. Yeah. It's kind of crazy to think about, honestly. Bro? <gasps> lock your head open. It. But if nobody's ever been here, who put the lock there? God? How? That hurt. Well, anyway, I'll take a shine sprite. This untouched shine sprite. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, that's a big guy. Him. Yay! The most useless badge ever. Hey, you know what's weird? These blocks, you can't break them from behind. Oh, that is weird. Yes. Why? I don't know. Also, are there dead bodies in here? Nope. Is this a grave? Is it? Well, actually, Lenny, how would you describe this room? Just like mm, some... Like the rafters? Or like the in-between thing between floors? Well, let's ask Umbella. This is the promoter's room. It's fitting. It has sort of a relaxed authority, you know? I don't remember it looking like this. It does look that relaxing, honestly. This is where the pairings for each match get decided. Neat! Wait, this is where the pairings get decided? Alright, let's see who's gonna They'll fight like, crawl him. into this crawl space like, oh, okay, okay. Okay, so let's go for Craw Daddy and then... <laughs> Shh. 
So you didn't find hide or tail of nobody in the storage room? Is that what you're saying? Yes, Mr. Grubber. It appeared to be secure. Don't worry about it, sir. I've taken the necessary precautions. It was most likely just a rat or something. <laughs> or, <laughs> That's funny. Or perhaps actually. even a monkey or donkey. Yeah. Well, ain't like, no big deal either way. Ain't nothing in there we'd miss too much anyway. Thanks for staying on top of this, Jolene. And by the way, any word on King K? I'm afraid we still don't know the whereabouts of King K, Mr. Grubber. Didn't you just go home? And so I deleted his part on our roster per regulations. The Glitzbit no longer has any official connection to KP Pete, aka King K. I don't know if this is going to fly in court. Although, I guess there's no Glitzful court, so maybe it will fly. I have, of course, taken the same steps with all fighters who have gone missing. I just wanted to repeat this information, even though you already know it. Cool. Please, do you mean Prince Mush? <sighs> Fighters have sure been going missing a lot lately. That's the fifth this year. Excuse me? Five? What the fu- What tarnation's going on? I even heard some security idiots saying the pit's cursed. Like, this really shows that rich people do not give a fuck. Yeah, shocker. People go missing, you're like, eh. Huh, oh, that's, that's like, weird. Oh, well. Why is this not... Like, why, why is there no... <sighs> anyway. I doubt that, sir, but I certainly don't understand the disappearances. Well, for the time being... Tell the other fellas that King K is headed on home for a spell. I think he did. If word gets out about missing fighters, Joe ain't gonna be good for business, no siree. Nasty rumors have a way of sending folks running to the hills, know what I mean? I understand completely, Mr. Grubber. I'll take care of everything, sir. You know, Jolene, you're a dang fine manager, but you just plumb disappear sometimes. I gotta know, where in the world do you go, darling? Uh, th that's... To the bathroom? M Mr. Grubber, I know you're my boss, but I don't believe that's any of your business. Like, wasn't that also a secret that, that Jolene goes to the toilet and never comes out? Hmm. What the fuck? Other people go to the toilet. Yeah. Whoa, easy. Didn't mean to pry now. How about this, then? You ever heard of the Crystal Star? Oh, you mean the star that's on Chancellor? Yes, yes, I have. <gasps> no, no, I've never heard of such a thing, Mr. Grubber. See, now this is complete bullshit because she got our report that we got. So she has heard about it. I think she's a stinky liar. Oh. Well, no, she's a fair smelling liar because her conditioner was very nice when I smelled her head. Okie doke. Well, I appreciate your time, Miss Jolene. Now you go ahead and run along now, you hear? Well, if this ain't a fine, how do you do? Seems like good fighters are a dying breed. That wild child Gonzalez is just about the only draw I still got round here. Wild child? <laughs> Psst, Mario, you listening to this? This whole missing fighter thing stinks of funny business. It's not funny, Gumbella. And you ever just thought that King K retired and headed back to his hometown? One day, dang ceiling spooking me. Hey, somebody up there! I'm very disappointed you didn't voice act that. I'm sorry. I'm gonna put in the the master pillage burp. Okay. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> Just a little burping beetle. Here I am, thinking someone's up there a peeping. I gotta relax. Some some yoga classes or something. Yep. Well, back to the ring. Is my grubber voice still the same? Sure. I feel like I'm having a rough time pinning it down for some reason today. <sighs> Boy, that was close. Did he catch how Grubber just came out of left field with that crystal star bit? Jolene was acting totally weird, right? I'm betting she knows something. Anyway, for now, we 
Better get out of here before someone finds us. Well, just to be sure, let's take another look. Well, now that's just boring. It is a room. That is, in fact, a room. <laughs> 